Good evening, and welcome to this analysis of the NQ for Wednesday, July the 12th, 2023. My name is Reese. I'm an apprentice of Inner Circle Trader. Um, I'm going to try and keep this video pretty short and sweet. Uh, my throat hurts, so I don't want to talk too much. Um, we head up to the four hour chart, and we can see the price delivered higher time frame, buy side liquidity uh, that was located at our prior high at 15,475.50. Now that price delivery mostly came on the CPI release today at 0830. So you can see 0830. Okay. After price delivered uh, 14,475.50, which was our buy side liquidity, um, I'm now down on the 10 minute chart. We can see that price put in a high at, let's take a look, be buy side there as well. So I'll just mark that as buy side. So it's 15,507 three quarters. Okay. Um, we put in a high at um, 1020, which is in the New York AM session. And then we ran internal liquidity, sell side liquidity. Uh, that 0850 low, which came in at 15,373. We did that coming in to uh, the London Stock Exchange close and into New York lunch. The New York lunch session ran internal liquidity that was located here, that high of 15,478 evens. And then price consolidated into the rest of the day. So we have a couple of liquidity pools now that I am monitoring. We are looking at a sell side liquidity pool down at 15,344 evens. We also have some sell short term liquidity uh, located at uh, 421 halves, which is here, and short term sell side liquidity at uh, 402 halves. During the overnight session thus far tonight, we've drawn higher and we've taken out internal buy side liquidity, so the short term highs. We formed a little something of a three drives pattern here, so one high, two high, and three high. Um, I'm currently of the opinion that we should draw back down to short term and then our longer term sell side liquidity may be in the regular trading hour session tomorrow on Thursday. Um, so I'm expecting quite a bit of high resistance here in the uh, overnight session. I do not expect that price is going to take out that 15507 three quarters high. I do think that that's going to be a long term high up there. Uh, it's my current thinking. Um, so I think that we are going to start drawing down to sell side liquidity. Uh, but the way that price is behaving, the way that price is behaving right now kind of indicates to me that that might be something of a high resistance liquidity run. But those are the sell side liquidity targets that you're looking at. Um, get up to our daily chart. We can see that uh, we, we are quite inefficient to the sell side. We did just ran, run that buy side liquidity on a, a longer longer term buy side liquidity there, a daily buy side. So I would be of the opinion now that it should uh, start grinding its way lower from the liquidity signature that I'm seeing right now. It does appear like it's probably going to be a high resistance liquidity run, unfortunately. Those are not as much fun to deal with, but that's kind of what my current thinking is. Um, so can also see that price delivered this SIBI here. Okay, so that's a SIBI. And price uh, has been working uh, in the overnight session, grinding and rebalancing that SIBI. So I am now of the opinion, as of this recording, that we should start drawing back to sell side liquidity. But the way that price is behaving now indicates to me that that might be something of a high resistance. But uh, all right, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, guys. This has been an analysis of the NQ for Wednesday, July the 12th. Bye-bye.